Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. Today we're going to look at the new moon that's coming up on March 10th, 2024. We're going to take a look at each life path number for the energies that could surface around this illumination. Before we get into the forecast, this of course is a general reading. If you would like a personalized reading, or we'll take a look at your own personal numerology, please book some time with me. My information is in the description box below. Uh, I'd love to work with you. All right, let's take a look. Life path number four. So we're going to be working with the energy of the seven as well as rooster energy for this new moon. And this is an interesting dynamic because let's talk about rooster energy first. So with rooster energy, there could be two messages here, depending on which one, you know, you need to hear. But for one, there's this energy of if you have been procrastinating with something, this is going to be the time where you need to get serious, get structured, get, you know, organized, get, get started, <laughs> um, you know, initiate it, start that project, start whatever it is, or it could even be, you know, start that conversation or st start that relationship or whatever it is. Um, but there's something here about with rooster energy coming through that the time has come to get committed and initiate to get serious and um, stick with it type thing, but just get started. The other side of this though, with rooster energy is because four energy can be very um, practical, very structured, very organized, very committed, all those things. And, you know, structure is great. Routine is great, but not when we get stuck in it, right? Not when it creates sort of a rut and then we're we're just kind of moving in circles at that point. So, and the four energy can sometimes be loyal to a fault or overcommitted to something. And so if there's something in your life where you've actually become so routine, because I think about like the rooster, right? Every morning it crows. Um, and, you know, but like clockwork type of thing. So there's a routine to that. Um, so there's definitely something here about if there is a routine that you are simply just doing it because you're on autopilot and it is a routine, but it's not actually serving you or anything, you know, that's, that's worth continuing to commit to whatever this is, then this is going to be a time I think where you're going to sort of snap out of it and see a, a better way. And then you'll have to initiate that, right? But there's definitely something here about if there's, if you're stuck in a routine, if you're stuck in a rut, um, and you just keep showing up to it because that's what you've always done. This could be a great time to shake things up a little bit, change it, change it up a little bit. With the seven energy, there's definitely something here. Pay attention to overanalyzing at this time. If you have been in your head about something, overthinking it, sort of just, you know, analyzing it to death type of thing to the point where it's gotten so convoluted that you couldn't possibly know what the answer is, even if, you know, you tried type of thing. It's like that kind of overanalyzing where the stories you've now created are just have created a whole entire, entirely different scene from where you started. So there's definitely something here about getting out of your own head and just sort of try to be a little bit more, you know, step back a little bit, be the observer um, and see, see things from a bigger perspective. It can be really easy for fours to be so far down in the details that you miss the bigger perspective. And by doing that, you're missing, you know, various opportunities that could help you to work smarter, not harder in whatever area, whether it's relationships, career, etc. Definitely with the seven energy coming through, because there's a lot of, you know, mysticism and the ethereal and intuitiveness that comes through with seven energy. So there's definitely something here about, you know, playing in the more mystical, the ethereal, you know, those, those realms where it's like, you know, seeing isn't always believing where it's more like the experience brings greater awareness. And sometimes the experience can't be explained. You may see some of those things come in at this time and really, it's kind of pushing you towards following your intuition, going within, you know, following that deeper sensitivity that is a part of the four, um, tapping into that and not, you know, and, and sort of marrying that with the more practical side that you may have. 
and see what it does for your creativity. Because when we're cut off to one side of ourselves, like that, that very ethereal, you know, intuitive side of ourselves, that can be, you know, that can kill a creative project real quick, or, you know, just dampen our creativity. But when we can, you know, play in that realm of creativity, and then do something with it in the the practical world, you know, the options are endless. And so I do think that around this full or this new moon, you're going to have opportunities to really play in the world of imagination, play with your creativity, um, just not have to have a practical, logical explanation for everything at this time and just see where it takes you. Um, I think it could be, could be a good experience and really kind of liven up any creative area within your life. I would also say again, just going back to rooster energy, just be really careful about um, any area that you're just stuck in a routine because it's that, that is the quickest, you know, kill joy or killing of our creativity that could happen. So just pay attention to all that around this new moon and see where it is that you're being asked for, you know, to take the, the lead in some new starts in new ways of doing things that might be outside of your comfort zone at first, but can lead to, um, a lot of satisfaction in the, in the, with the outcome. So I hope it's a great one. Take care for Bye for now.